Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and I'm just wrapping up weekend number four video of my do-it-yourself backyard pond. I'm exhausted, but let's go take a look. So the sun came out for just a few minutes and I'll take it while I can grab it. It's supposed to rain again for the next two days and later on today, but I got the ton of rock in. I started building what I needed for the uh, waterfall. I'm going to build up some more cinder blocks underneath. I got more. No, don't throw them in the rock. Grammy stubbed her toe last night. Okay, it's pretty good. It started working. I connected the liner to the actual waterfall spout. I don't have any of the big rocks to make the waterfall good. I bought some broken slate just to see how it would work. The waterfall here splits into two directions. Waterfall here, waterfall here. And I'm thinking about setting a little mini filter up here to come in. So this whole side of it will be like flowing waterfall. I'm so liking it. So I got all the rock put in that I ordered. That was one ton of river rock. My granddaughter helped. She was throwing rocks in randomly. Okay, that's all right. That's cool, it's random. Um, yeah, I'm real excited. I still need a lot of random rocks. I, none of the tiers, the flat parts have any stone on them. I just put stone on the walls. So, so far as I got so far, I got this connected, I got the waterfall connected. That was something. I had to buy all new cinder block underneath. I like 15. I went to the Home Depot several times because I only have a little tiny car, so kept loading up the trunk until it started scraping. <laughs> Not really, but kind of close. And then I'm excited. Almost. So now I'm gonna get some flat rock delivered. I think it's Pennsylvania Fieldstone or Gonna get delivered Tuesday, I think. And I'm starting to get a little bit of algae. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. This is gonna be so fish ready by the time I'm done. Somebody asked me, like, why why do you put water in it so soon? Why didn't you, you know, build the pond first? I'm like, I got two 40 gallon breeders of fish that are coming out. I wanna make sure it's cycled good, going. So I think it will be. I think it'll be fine. Quick peek, peek over here at the, the pond plants that have been hanging out over here in my tubs. I don't have any fish in my summer tubs yet because it's still cold, but I got two thrushes. I got oh, I got a whole bunch of different exciting, oh, I think exciting plants for the uh, garden. I can't wait. My friend's got some creeping Jenny he's going to give me. Then I want to get some portulac or some like... Uh, Seed them, maybe some rock stuff to grow in between. Oh my god. Maybe in heaven. <coughs> so I got my last load of rock. I think this is called Pennsylvania Field Stone. And I think this is all I will need to finish it up. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Except for a couple boulders. I'm gonna need some boulders to make this look more like a waterfall. So of course the water's already green. Yay! I feel like welcome to pond life. This is what it's gonna be like. Oh, I just wanna get it finished. I wanna get some plants in there and see if I can help with the algae. Oh, I gotta check the filtration. I gotta get some more polyfill. I gotta put in bio balls. There really is just the pump going through polyfill here. There's no filtration set up that a waterfall is the filtration. So that's a makeshift. So it's gonna come down, split into two sides. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. But there, I wanna get the filter built so that at least the water is being filtered and I don't know I got to get a thermometer these pond plants are going in there 
and I have a gift certificate, two gift certificates equaling $100 that I won at my auction for probably 35 bucks. I'm getting $100 worth of probably pond plants. That is what I'm thinking. Although it would be half the cost of a UV sterilizer if I wanted to go that route, which I don't know why I wouldn't, but I'm still doing research because I'm not quite sure. But today while I was at work, this pallet of rock was dumped in my backyard. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now the process, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna pull back this, push some of this dirt forward, flatten it, do the whole thing, put it down, and then put the stepping stones on it, or the flat stones. Hopefully it won't look man-made. Well, it's gonna be hard not to look man-made, but I am really starting to love this. Be right back. there was like a large hump of dirt here. I pulled up the liner, flattened it out. I wanna do two layers of these rock. It's time for me to cut the rubber and hide it. Pretty stoked, pretty stoked. But this is what I spent most of my time building and rebuilding. Building and rebuilding. Building and rebuilding. <laughs> so once I get it all cemented or the foam in so it doesn't leak right now when the water comes down here it goes in between these two rocks it doesn't flow on top and I think once I put that foam cement in it will have, it'll be sealed enough to where it's Yeah, so when it comes down here, it goes underneath that rock. So I'll just have to put a seal there and maybe a little tiny rock. This rock here is to change the pattern of the water. I might switch it out with that rock because I really like that rock. So when the water hits, it forces the water one way and then the other way. And then it falls down, falls down, falls down. And the whole way it's falling down this way, it's always go, it's going over this way as well. So up here is more of a waterfall, trickle, a little bit. So here's what my neighbors see. I don't think they're very happy. Well, aside from my rock pile. <laughs> this is what my neighbors see. So I don't think it'll be too bad, especially with these slates or these uh, pieces of rock here. And then maybe I'll put up one of those bamboo curtains, like a, yeah, like a bamboo fence, bamboo curtain. A shame they don't get to see the waterfall. They might see the waterfall here, but I think there'll be a big boulder here. But I'm not making it for them now, am I? Nope. So, so far, that's as far as I got. I got one more day before this video gets posted. Well, today and tomorrow, but today, I, I Wednesdays I work two jobs, so I work 12, 13 hours, but so I don't really get anything done for Thursday. I'm coming right home from my first job and I'm gonna I've got about five hours of daylight I'm gonna try to get this completed for the next video
now for some waterfall fun. so far with the pond and let me tell you I couldn't be more excited it's all coming together thank you guys for all your encouragement I was ready to give up at one point because I was in so over my head thanks fish fam you rock <laughs> pun intended <laughs>